Radiotherapy is a very important treatment for cancer. Research and clinical trials are carried out to improve patient care. There are different types of trials. Some trials will test how safe it is to give a new treatment, which may be a drug or type of radiotherapy. And other studies may compare a new treatment with an existing treatment. This is known as standard of care. This video has been developed with staff and patients to provide you with some extra information about why clinical trials are important and to answer some of your frequently asked questions. Clinical trials are very important because they give us the evidence base to make decisions about future treatments for patients so that patients in the future can have the best options for care. We always want to be at the top of our game, being able to deliver the best experiences that we can for patients with the best treatment in the department. Everything we do in healthcare is evidence-based practice, so everything that we do now has been tested before using trials and studies and research. Research often comprises of two types of study, interventional and observational. And an interventional study is when we are looking to compare a treatment with um, a standard of care. And an observational study is where we're trying to understand more about, for instance, in our, in our line of work, about a tumour or about treatment. For instance, maybe how a tumour responds to a certain treatment. So we don't always change the standard of care or the treatment for a patient when we're undertaking research, but we're gaining more information. And that allows us to advance our knowledge on um, treatment and cancer and hopefully results in improving the outcomes for patients. Radiotherapy in particular is advancing at a very rapid rate. So the best way for us to be able to incorporate some of these new technologies and to be able to adopt them faster is by studying patients in trials. So what it allows us to do is to measure how a person is responding or the tumour is responding to the treatment under close observation from the research team and then we can compare that with um, patients are also receiving the standard of care but we get a like-for-like -like comparison which is really important and it allows us to introduce things safely and that is really important to all of us is that when we're providing new treatments for patients is that they have been really well tested. Um, any new treatments that come through um, have to have been tested rigorously and any trials, and this is important, any trials that we um, invite patients to participate in have had to go through regulatory approvals and have had to be approved by an ethics board. To find out more about what radiotherapy is, the benefits and how it is planned and delivered, please view our separate video which details all this information for you. We asked patients what their most frequently asked questions about taking part in a clinical trial were. Is participation voluntary? Participating in a trial is completely voluntary. If a patient's eligible for a trial, it's the onus is on us to offer it to them, but there's no um, pressure or um, onus on the patient to participate. If they do sign up, to, to take part in a trial, usually on the consent form that, that it is specified that they can withdraw from the trial at any time and that will not affect their care and they don't have to give a reason why they no longer want to participate. Will I need to commit more time? Often the patient will, will ask um, whether they may need to come to hospital more frequently if they're part of a clinical trial. Some patients find that very reassuring that maybe the follow-up will be more frequent than it would be outside of the trial. Are there added risks? Some patients will ask me if taking part in a trial is safe and to reassure them about that then I can give them information about how clinical trials need to go through a, um, a rigorous process and they will actually be reviewed by an ethics committee to make sure that everything is safe and is suitable for the patient to take part.
So radiotherapy is a really important treatment for cancer patients and things have changed significantly in radiotherapy treatment in the last 20 years. In the past we used a few beams, so maybe two or five beams of radiation, but now we've evolved so that we can deliver a lot more um, beams of radiation, so we'll call that multi-beam therapy. This is really important because it allows us to deliver a very high dose to the target, which is the tumour, and protect the healthy organs near the tumour as much as we can. And we can see them now, we can outline them, we can limit the amount of radiation that's being delivered to them. What you can see in this final image is how we're delivering treatment at the moment. And here you can see in blue, again, the low dose of radiation that is being delivered to now much less of the body than in our previous images. What you can also see in red and then in yellow as the dose goes higher is a much smaller area that's being targeted with a very high dose of radiation. So clinical trials have made a significant difference to the length of time that treat patients receive treatment for prostate cancer. So a number of years ago, we were delivering 37 treatments. So that was given over seven and a half weeks as a result of trials demonstrating that a shorter course of treatment could be safely delivered and was as effective, we have been able to move to a four week course where 20 treatments is delivered. Again, as a result of clinical trials, we are now moving towards a much shorter course of treatment for patients. And for some patients, a course of only five treatments over one week is effective and safe. So radiotherapy has changed significantly in the last few years as a result of clinical trials. We are hugely grateful to patients who have been able to give their time so that we can safely implement these new techniques. And now radiotherapy is becoming a really good, strong alternative for some patients who would otherwise have thought of surgery. Most patients are really actively engaged um, and quite excited about how they can improve um, research and kind of the treatments that they are receiving, but they're also kind of improving it for other patients that may come along in the future. Ultimately, when we're doing research with patients, it's probably not going to benefit them initially um, because we're still going to be collecting the data probably after they've finished treatment, but also we can then implement that, um, the results from that data um, into future patients' treatment pathways. Just starting that scan now, Louise. What I would normally say to my patient in clinic would be, we have this clinical trial open that we think may be better than what we've got as a standard of treatment, but we don't know that for certain. So what we'd like to do is to give you some information on this study to talk about at home and then come back to us to see if you would like to take it further. So we think this treatment might be better than the standard. We cannot always choose if you have that treatment or standard of care. That's what makes it good science and your care in the future won't be compromised if you decide to go ahead with the treatment or not, it's completely voluntary. If you require any of this information in another language, please let the team know. And if you have any questions and queries about clinical trials, please speak to a member of your clinical team and visit our website for more general information about radiotherapy.